Hey Aquarius, happy Halloween. It's Ia Patsy here and I am going to be doing your general reading for the month of November 2018. So the reason I'm all dolled up here like this is um, I did all of the readings for October. Afterwards, I realized I didn't do anything uh, to recognize Halloween season. So because November 1st is the Dia de los Muertos, I said, well, you know what? I'll just rock this for November's readings, at least for the generals, um, and at least for the ones I've done so far. So I'm going to try to see if I can get them all done today. Um, and I'm pretty much halfway through. So let's get started with yours. Aquarius, we're going to be using the five position spread, and we're going to be getting cards from the um, Arc Angel Power Tarot by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Additionally, we are going to be getting cards from the astrology reading cards and these are by Allison Chester Lambert and Richard Crooks. So beginning we're going to start the reading off with cards from these um, astrology deck. The first card that we will be getting would be um, from well, this deck is broken down into uh, three different groups, planets, uh, zodiac signs, and houses. So the first card that we got from the planet deck is Chiron. Now, this um, planet's um, talk about your personality. So this is the aspect of your personality that is going to be in focus for the time period between now and the end of November 2018. All right. So Chiron, this talks about empathy and your healing power and your ability to teach and to also um, learn remedies. This talks about you talks about the energy of um, being able to uh, receive help, okay, and learning from experiences which go towards you being able to help others based on the things that you've learned going through those experiences. So this is teaching from a place of knowing, right, and being able to be empathetic, and um, also being also open to learning. So you could be learning how to work with um, natural medicines, all right? Um, herb herbal modalities, all right? Or you could, you could just be talking about regular, you know, conventional medicine, all right? You could be a doctor, a nurse, but whatever that type of um, aspect of your, your personality, your healing personality, uh, your teaching, uh, learning um, aspects of your personality are going to be what's on display or what's highlighted by the events um, playing out over the next few weeks, all right, between now and the end of November 2018. So Aquarius, the second card that we got was from the Zodiac part of this uh, deck, and the Zodiac talks about your energetic influences. So even though you are an Aquarius, we all have different um, zodiac signs within our full charts, within our birth charts. So there are different times throughout different situations, throughout different times of the year, uh, different times of the day that we pull uh, energies of those other zodiac signs that um, lie within our chart in order to help us deal with the situation at hand. For you, the card that came, the zodiac sign that was indicated for you is Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, this is talking about wistful energy, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. This is an energy that <laughs> it, it confuses, 
and it makes and softens your resolves. And in other words, it makes you flexible a week, depending on how you're looking at it. Okay. It also it confuses you, it confuses the people around you. Okay. So this is the energy that is at play for you this month. So healing, empathy, compassion, forgiving. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I'm getting perhaps someone is taking it, could be trying to take advantage of your soft side. Aquarius. Someone could be taking care, taking advantage of your, um, this part of you that is a forgiving and compassionate person. Or this could be the energy that's influ influencing you to be empathetic and heal someone or heal others. So this, this aspect of your energy could be what pushes you or, well, in other words, these two, these two aspects can work together or they can work, I guess, in opposition to one another, but that's just what came to me just then. I'm not an astrologer. I'm not even trying to play one on TV. I'm just uh, learning this as I go along, just like you are. We're learning this together, right? Some of you know this better than I do. And I'm sure someone will make corrections to me if they find it warranted, <laughs> if it's warranted. All right. So, and the last card that we get covers the uh, houses. The houses are like different areas of your life, um, like the Zodiac is 12 houses, right? And the, um, so the wheel of houses, the different parts of life that are um, controlled by these houses is what is indicated by these, this part of the deck. And the house that you are focusing or that is going to be most affected by the events of this time period is the sixth house. Okay, so this is the house of work, health, and duty. The work, health, and duty area of your life. So, being of service, okay? Being of service, taking care of your health, healing. So, again, these three correspond. They make sense. Ashe, so Aquarius, let's see what is next. What else is happening for you here? So, Chiron, Pisces, and the sixth house. Okay. So, right here. The first position that we have for you is Knight of Michael. So, this talks about sudden changes all right this is choosing your logic over your emotion and quick movements okay so michaels are air swords right that kind of energy so this could be communications that come in ease uh quickly or communications that are expected or unexpected um could be messages yeah not not using your heart not thinking with your emotion quick movements okay strong quick movements so this is in the first position in this spread which talks about your work environment, things outside of you, things that are going on around you that may be affecting you, but it's not 
inside of you, so to speak, or in your home environment. Um, like I said, that could be uh, messages outside of you, movements, all right? Could be anticipating a sudden change. Next card here, five of Ariel. So this talks about feeling like you're left out in the cold, right? This is like the five of uh, coins in the uh, regular tarot. So, but in this case, Archangel Ariel is standing here to tell you that you are not alone and that you are protected. All right, help is nearby or on its way. Um, take any self-defeating, poverty-minded thoughts out of your head because you're just going to manifest negative um, aspects or negative outcomes. So keep your head up. Know that you're protected. This is something that is going on inside of you or in your home environment, all right? So, because this is talking about your home feeling left in the cold, okay, so maybe this is talking about having to move, all right? This could be getting notice that you have to move, getting notification that you have to move. Okay, getting notification that you have to move out of your home. Could be getting notification that you're going to be laid off. This could be a movement in the stock market even, right? Um, but you're being, mm, you're being advised, you're being, um, reassured you're not alone you are not alone okay so the thing that you weren't expecting is the three of gabrielle so this is a fire sign perhaps around you and this is prosperity that arise from wise planning optimistic plans that turn out as expected Expected time to take the next step. So this could be that you got uh, a lucky break somehow because you had planned ahead. All right. This could be that the money you have the money that you need to move. All right. Or this could just be saying that you have the um, resources to cover you in case of a layoff. Um, you made plans to be able to cover yourself in an emergency situation and it turns out that that was a wise, good idea. All right. So you were able to cover yourself. You're able to take care of yourself, your family, your home environment. Even though it seems maybe you forgot about this. <laughs> you may have forgotten about this. And that's why you were thrown off. But what you didn't remember or what you didn't understand. Or this could be talking about another job opportunity. Or, or another residence. Something that you had already looked at something that you may have already put in an application for you maybe weren't expecting it to happen this quickly all right um this could be that you you may have gotten laid off or lost your job but you had already put in applications at other places. You had already gone on interviews, all right? So now you have your choice of places to go, all right? You knew that you were going to, you made provisions, you made provisions in advance. Okay, all right. 
So this may be affecting, as I, we said before, your health and your work. So you planned ahead of time. You may not have been expecting to have to take advantage of this, these opportunities, but since they're here, you're going to take advantage of it, as you should. Uh, the next card here. This is the role you play in this, Queen of Gabriel. Okay, so this is a fire sign. This talks about being able to do anything you want right now. All right, going, going after what you want. You have the ability to attract helpful people. So, this is being a passionate, and charming, independent person. All right, so, you are being strong and charming. All right, confident, going after what you want. Again, could have been an opportunity for a new home, a new job. All right, something that you had heard about, a message that came. And you put yourself in position to take advantage of it. And you were able to secure a stable, creative future doing something that you love. And the last position, the outcome. Got two cards, Aquarius. So the first card here was Seven of Gabriel. So you've got three fire, fire signs, three um, wands, right? Three cards that talk about passion and independence, standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in, claiming your own personal power, all right? Seven of Gabriel would be like seven of wands. So standing up for yourself, defending yourself and flying above the nonsense, all right? Getting out away from the bullshit, all right? Claiming your own personal power. Showing yourself to be true to who you are. And requiring that others respect you for who you are. And the other card that uh, was the final outcome. Queen of Raphael. So this is showing emotions and being kind and understanding. This is someone who is psychic and a person who is giving, all right? So this could be someone around you who is a water sign, all right? But again, this could just be you, all right? Maybe this, this could be a psychic person. Someone maybe gave you a heads up. Maybe that's the heads up that you had which caused you to be ready for this. And it gave you confidence. The advice that you may have gotten from this person, this kind person who is a friend, a family member, could be someone that's interested in you, you're interested in them. This could be a male, even though it says Queen of Raphael. But this is someone who is loving and someone who is willing to, to help you, to comfort you. This is someone that you may have known a long time because I see that there are two dolphins in the back. This could even be a relationship for you. It could be someone who is a Pisces. Okay, okay, water sign. And I see the little moon in the corner there. So it could be Pisces or Cancer. Okay. Um, and this person is knowledgeable, got an open book 
on her lap. So that also means this person is trustworthy. This person is open. There are no secrets. They're not hiding anything from you. Okay. And this friendship, this relationship, this association gives you confidence. Okay. It gives you confidence, gives you the confidence to know that you can do anything, that you can be all you can be and accepted for who you are, that you can be independent, you can handle anything that comes towards you. So this could be you giving this energy to yourself. Right? Compassionate and forgiving. Okay. Just full of love. So this could be you loving yourself, Aquarius. Which is what helps you stand up for yourself and claim your personal power. This energy, this Pisces energy, along with this Queen of Raphael, could be you learning how to love yourself, learning how to heal yourself, learn how to be empathetic to yourself as well as to other people, okay? The duty of your, that you should pay to yourself. You got to take care of yourself in order to be able to take care of others, right? When they're, when you're in a plane and the um, atmosphere is, is dropping or the, the pressure inside of the cabin, they tell you to put the mask on you first before you put it on your child because they need you to be alert. And the child, since it's small, is going to take longer for that uh, air to change. So take care of yourself first and then put the mask on your child. So then, same principle, physician heal thyself, right? Take care of yourself so that you can be around to help take care of the rest of us, Aquarius. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. So let's see if we can get another card from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. And that's by Colette Barron Reed. Okay. Let me know if these uh, messages make any sense to you. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hold to um, when you subscribe to tap the notification bell. And that will make sure that when I do live readings or when I upload uh, new material, you'll get the notification right away. Time to go, number 45. So 4 plus 5 is 9. So this is a message from your ancestors. The descriptions for all of these cards will be in the description box underneath this reading. So, got the wisdom of the oracle. Time to go, number 45. So, let's see. Okay, so, this talks about walking away from something because there's nothing else to learn from this experience. A completion. You're at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next. This is the moment to bless your experience so far. Take stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to new experiences and a new way of being. There is nothing left for you to do. There's nothing left for you to be. There's nothing left for you to experience in these present circumstances. Take the risk and move on. Even if you need to be in transition for a time, your destiny is calling you. So maybe you had a falling out with your partner and that's why you had to move quickly. And that's why you felt that you were being left out in the cold. Could be a business partner, could be a love interest but you already had made contingency plans. And it could be to be with someone who's a fire sign, someone who is very loving to you, all right? 
And this is how you claim your personal power. This is maybe how you heal yourself from the hurt that you may have experienced from this other partner. It just came, I don't know. <sighs> but it's over. Or at the very least, this form, the form this relationship has taken is no longer of service to you or the other person. So this is a time of letting go, knowing that the journey has come to its conclusion. That doesn't mean anything is lost. Although this card could speak about a breakup, drifting apart or the end of a soul contract, it is more about release than destruction. Remember the saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. If not, it never was. Endings are always a sign of new beginnings. If you want something deeper, walk away. I say. Even if it appears that you've reached the end of the line and all of is lost, it isn't. You are in a situation that will resurface again later. So consider this a break rather than an ending. Destiny is in charge here. You lose nothing and gain everything when you surrender to that fact. Your soul knows that your destiny is unfolding with perfect timing and synchronicity. Your small self has its doubts, but that's natural as it doesn't have the map of your destiny. Your soul does. Spirit loves you. Trust that. So, let it go. It's not destroyed. It's just going to be reconstituted, okay? And that may be the healing that you need, all right? That may be what's healthy for you, all right? But you may have to do this in order to maybe not be so soft to <laughs> give in. Maybe it's a lesson that you need to, need to learn. Hi, Midnight. Midnight, say hi to everybody for, for Halloween. Say hi. Hello. Yeah, okay. She wants to purr. Can mommy finish, please? I'm almost done with Aquarius's reading. They really, really like to finish it. Yes. Okay, so go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can you make it? Look, look. Go over there. Excuse us. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Midnight. Okay. Thank you. Talk to you later. Smooches. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a card from the Goddess Guidance deck. Let's see what else we can uh is there anything else to add to this reading for you Aquarius? Okay. And we have Dana, the high priestess. Your divine knowledge, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. Okay, so I think this is talking about learning a less learning lessons from this experience, like we spoke about before. Okay, so this you're going to be able to put what you learn to work. All right, and you may be able to put what you've learned to work right now in this situation. That would be the Chiron energy that you are embodying. Okay. Your ability to heal yourself, your ability to pay attention to the messages that you're getting from spirit and to follow <clears throat> your intuition. Okay. The ability to um, pay attention to the messages that you may be getting from someone who is a trusted uh, advisor. Okay. Like this uh, Queen of Raphael person or this 
Queen of Gabrielle type energy that may be around you. So that is also a possibility. Let's see if we can get something from the numerology deck for you. And here she is again. Go ahead. She's not sure if she can make it. I think she can. There you go. If she could just go right here. <laughs> but she'd rather do it that way. I think she likes to be on camera. She watches television. I'm sure she's seen herself when I cast it to my TV when I'm watching my videos back at night. When I first do them, I usually watch them. All right, from the numerology, look at this, number 55, an adventure. So this is going to be change for you. Something new, a change, it may be a change to the relationship, but it is going to be an adventure for you. All right, something, this relationship may stay the same, or you may meet some one new, if this is about a relationship, if this is starting a new job, all right, this is going to be an adventure, something that is going to be good. This is a 55, 55, is, um, 55 is a master number, and this is a manifestation year, so 11 is a uh, 2019, 2018 reduces to an 11 and 11 is a sign of a master, um, is a master number. That means there'll be manifestation going on and we only in, uh, October still got time. All right. So this card indicates a need to see your life as an adventure. Don't do it midnight. Don't, <sighs> no one knows, <laughs> no one knows what will happen tomorrow. So why not make the most of today? Mm. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to step out of the rut, excuse me, of your everyday life to experience exciting new things. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just a couple of minor adjustments can add a little adventure and zing. This is a time to be inquisitive and daring. You may want to rearrange your furniture, or experiment with new styles of clothing. Perhaps you could eat at a different eat a different type of food or take up a new hobby or go on an overseas voyage. Sometimes a new version of something familiar is enough to shake things up. Even a random act of kindness can be an adventure in itself. You've got people to meet and plenty of things to see. So open yourself up to the unknown. Revitalize your soul and broaden your horizons. Adventure stimulates the life force and enhances your connection to source. The affirmation for this is, I broaden my life experience and therefore expand the growth of my soul. I say, wonderful. Very, very nice Aquarius. So embrace this new adventure. All right, just be willing to let yourself go with the flow, okay? Follow your heart, go with the flow. Be open to new knowledge, new adventures, to new loves. Could be the same love, just revamped, okay? Revitalized. So, and this is the time of the year for that. I believe that this is um, going, going into a Venus rec retrograde. So this affects love relationships also i think but even if it's about moving all of this this is going to be a new adventure for you okay a new adventure that's going to teach you lessons that you're going to be able to share with others and while you're healing yourself you'll be able to heal others so in honor of halloween and dia de los muertos we are going to get one card from the rebel deck right and these are just funny little oracle cards <clears throat> with little messages on them. They're a little rebellious, so sometimes it's bad language, but they're kind of, the messages are funny. And sometimes they 
tie into the message, and other times they just don't, but they're funny anyway. So let's see if we can get a message for Aquarius for the time period between now and the end of November 2018. All right, and those of you who'd like a private reading, you can send a um, email to me at pbtarot, T-A-R-O-T, the number seven, at gmail.com. And this says, take a shot. Don't take 12. Take one. Okay. Maybe two. And move on. <laughs> okay, so maybe you need a drink. Take a shot. But you don't want to do that if that's something that we're struggling with, if we need to detoxify. No overindulging. And if you have any kind of a issue, you can just leave that alone. It doesn't have to be a shot of liquor. It could be, I don't know what other types of shots people take, <laughs> but it doesn't have to be the, oh, you could be playing ball, right? Right? Uh, uh, tennis, right? Something like that, whatever. Take a shot, but don't take 12. One or two, then move on. So. Aquarius, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this message. Don't forget to um, like and comment below. I love reading everybody's comments. I really enjoy it. And I'll be talking to you all shortly. Your October readings, the love bites, everything is already up. There's other content that I have uploaded that you may be enjoying. There's some personal readings. There's some uh, channeling that we've done um, and a couple of live uh, episodes that we did. So don't forget to um, hit that bell so that when I do those lives, you'll be able to get the notice and you'll be able to participate. We really like to have you there because the more of us that are there, the easier it is for me to connect with the energies when I'm doing the uh, Talking to Heaven readings, especially. So thank you so much. And I'll be seeing you guys uh, next month. So uh, happy Halloween. Uh, happy Dia de los Muertos. Happy Thanksgiving even, all right? Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.